Welcome everybody back to Kingfish Racing. Today we are going to be building a monitor mount that is built by AdvancedSimRacing.com. I found them just searching the web. Real quick, I purchased this item with my own money. Then I reached out to AdvancedSimRacing.com to see if they could provide us with a discount code. So anybody that wants to buy one or buy something from AdvancedSimRacing.com, click the link in the description, you will get 5% off. That being said, this item did ship from North America, so it was free shipping, which was very appealing to me. And it also works with my Sim Labs racing rig. So let's get to the build and let me know what you think. All right, in this stage of the process, we are going to unbox everything. It came in two boxes, a long box with our profile and the box with our tools. All right, so here's what was in the box. You have your Versa mount, you have two plates here. This holds the one bar that goes across to hold the monitor. Then you have the pieces that put the profile together, some rubber feet, T-nuts, more bolts, and then center caps, which are nice, or caps that go to the ends of the profile. As far as the profile is concerned, you have two of these. These go straight up, which is going to hold the bar that goes across that holds your monitor. These are your legs. So these will go across, this is going to attach to the legs, and this is going to go straight across. Um, let's get building and see what it turns out to look like. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do here is put on the rubber feet. I know you can't see me, but that's not the point. The point is so you can see the build. So step one, rubber feet are on. Once again, it's in the bag with four T-nuts and four M6s. And you just bolt them on. It should only take you a few minutes. For the next section here, we're going to need some M8s. You're going to need the two plates that came in your kit along with the two really big profile pieces. And I say really big because they are the biggest ones in the package. You're going to need four M8s and the T-nuts that come along with it. So let's get these plates on. Just lining them up. So now that you got the plates on, you're going to need the section where you put the rubber feet on because those are your legs and you're going to attach one of these profile pieces to the leg like this you're going to need a bracket here's the bracket we're going to take the cap off and you're going to get some m8s and put them in and it's going to look just like that you're going to put one on the front and one on the back and this will hold it very sturdy so let's get that on Might be easier to do this laying it down, but I'm trying to show you guys what to do here. So I have it standing up and I'm holding it. You also want to get one of those brackets and put it in the back here. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Now that we got our legs on, we're going to take our last piece of profile and we're going to attach it to the stand here. I have it really close together right now because I want you guys to be able to see it in the video. And we just have to get the first amount on now and then we should be all set. I'm here holding the camera so you can see the entire build there. And there it is with the Versa mount now attached. Everything is measured and screwed in so it's looking good. We're gonna get the monitor on and then we will do our final review. All right, so here is the mount all set up with my computer monitor. And it looks good. I am very happy with it. Sorry, I'm in like a different position here. It's very tight in my race room, but here it is. I still have to put the caps on over here, but the mount looks good. It's holding my monitor. Here's the mount in the back. It's a 29 inch ultra wide LG monitor for those of you that want to know. And it's hooked up correctly. I'm very happy with it. I have to race with it tonight. There's really not a lot of movement to it so that's good all right so i'm gonna do this vlog style um as you can see here's the monitor here's my steering wheel um just some pros and cons real quick 
Pros, it's very easy to put together. It's very sturdy. It comes with, it comes very well packed and it does what it needs to do. It needs to hold my monitor. So that's a big pro. The con, only one thing I have to say is that it doesn't come with instructions. So it's very easy to understand what to do here. I looked at the picture, figured it out from there, but there's no instructions. It would be nice to have like a little picture instruction say, this is what you need to do or step by step on what to do. Otherwise, it was simple to put together without it, but it would be useful to have it. Uh, and also no, I have it in silver because I saved some money buying it in silver. You could actually get it in black or gray. So no, you don't have to just get it in silver. I would like to thank you for watching Kingfish Racing today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if I have more updates to my rig, I will record it, especially if you guys like this video. Thank you, and I'll catch you on the next one.